China has revealed the FK-3000, a high-tech defense platform built to counter one of today's biggest challenges, drone swarms. Mounted on a mobile, armored vehicle, it combines a 30mm rapid-fire cannon, 24 ready-to-launch missiles, and advanced sensors to provide layered protection for critical sites. In this video, we'll explore how the FK-3000 works, why it matters, and what makes it such a breakthrough in modern protection. The FK-3000 is not a retrofit. It is a platform engineered specifically for today's aerial challenges. At the heart of the system is a 30mm automatic cannon, designed to tackle small and agile drones at close range. Backing it up are two missile pods, each holding 12 short-range interceptors, giving the vehicle a total of 24 ready-to-launch missiles. Together, this creates a defensive envelope that can reach as far as 12 kilometers while still being effective at distances as close as 300 meters. What makes the FK-3000 stand out is its multi-layered approach. The cannon takes care of swarming drones that break in close, while the missiles engage more distant or higher flying targets. This blend of firepower ensures that different types of threats can be countered without exhausting one type of ammunition. It's a smart, layered response to a growing problem. Equally important is its advanced fire control system. A combination of radar, optical tracking, and electronic detection tools gives the FK-3000 all-weather, round-the-clock functionality. This means it can detect and track multiple airborne objects, distinguish between types of drones, and assign the right weapon system in real time. In other words, it doesn't just fire blindly. It uses data to make each shot count. The modular nature of the design takes its capabilities even further. The system can be adapted to use different missile types, including specialized micro-missiles optimized for counter-drone operations. Engineers also left room for future upgrades, allowing integration of new sensors, upgraded radar systems, and even optional unmanned launch vehicles carrying their own missiles. This ensures the FK-3000 can remain relevant as aerial technology evolves. Mobility is another defining trait. The system is mounted all-terrain armored truck that can quickly reposition across varied landscapes. This gives commanders the flexibility to protect changing targets or set up dynamic defense perimeters as needed. Combined with crew protection inside the armored cab, it is designed to move fast, stay safe, and remain ready. The FK-3000 was not designed in a vacuum. It is the product of lessons learned from recent conflicts where unmanned systems have changed the balance of the battlefield. In several regions, low-cost drones have demonstrated how a few small, inexpensive systems can achieve outsized effects by targeting energy facilities, communication hubs, or supply lines. What made these drones especially challenging was their ability to operate in swarms, overwhelming traditional defense systems, and creating cascading vulnerabilities across entire operational environments. Conventional air defense platforms were created to stop high-speed jets or large missiles. While highly effective in their intended role, they were often poorly matched against small, numerous drones. In some cases, expensive interceptors had to be fired at drones worth only a fraction of the cost, draining resources quickly. In others, defense systems simply could not react fast enough to multiple simultaneous threats. These gaps highlighted the urgent need for specialized systems designed to counter swarms. That need explains the FK-3000's layered design. The cannon allows for rapid, cost-efficient responses to incoming quadcopters or small drones. At the same time, the missile pods provide coverage against larger or faster targets. The modularity of the missile loadout also makes sense in this context. Different threats demand different tools, and the FK-3000 was engineered to deliver just that. Another critical lesson was adaptability. Drone technology is advancing at lightning speed, with developers experimenting with stealth coatings, AI coordination, and GPS-denied navigation. A system that cannot evolve will quickly fall behind. The FK-3000's modularity ensures it can take on new weapons or integrate fresh sensors without being retired or replaced. This approach reflects a broader shift in thinking. Defenses must be designed not only for the threats of today, but also for those just over the horizon. By learning from the challenges faced in Ukraine, 
the Middle East, and other regions, engineers created a system that directly addresses the vulnerabilities exposed in those theaters. The deployment of the FK-3000 isn't just about fielding new equipment. It represents a strategic rethink of how protection is planned in the modern era. At its core, the system is designed to safeguard critical infrastructure. Facilities such as power plants, communication centers, and command hubs are highly vulnerable to coordinated drone strikes. By establishing protective layers around these sites, the FK-3000 reduces the risk of disruptions to essential services and command operations. It is not simply about defending assets. It's about ensuring continuity for both civilian life, economic stability, and overall readiness in an increasingly technology-driven environment. Another dimension is mobility. Unlike older, fixed defense systems, the FK-3000 can move with frontline units or relocate rapidly to meet emerging threats. Its armored, all-terrain platform ensures it can operate across diverse environments, from urban centers to rugged landscapes. This makes it possible to establish temporary defensive perimeters in high-risk areas and then move on once the mission is complete. Flexibility is the keyword. It adapts to the environment rather than demanding the environment adapt to it. Strategically, the FK-3000 also addresses the cost balance. Traditional systems often face the dilemma of using high-value interceptors against low-cost drones. The FK-3000 resolves this by pairing rapid-fire cannons with modular missile pods, ensuring that small drones don't drain expensive resources. This balance makes it sustainable over time, which is essential for prolonged operations. Another ripple effect is the system's role in broader networks. Its sensors and fire control equipment can be integrated into larger defensive grids, allowing multiple systems to coordinate coverage. This means the FK-3000 isn't just a standalone unit, but part of a larger shield, enhancing both reach and resilience. The design also ensures future relevance. As aerial technologies evolve, whether through swarms, stealth, or artificial intelligence, the FK-3000's modular structure allows upgrades in both weapons and sensors. That future-proofing means it can adapt to new challenges without requiring complete replacement, a cost-effective strategy that keeps defenses up to date. In a broader sense, the FK-3000 reflects a growing global recognition that drone defense is now central to strategic planning. Nations worldwide are investing in counter-drone technologies, but China's decision to deploy such a specialized, adaptable system underscores how seriously this challenge is being addressed. The FK-3000 is more than hardware. It's a shift in how protection is designed in the drone era. With layered defenses, modular adaptability, and strategic mobility, it addresses the real gaps exposed by recent conflicts while preparing for future challenges. This isn't just a tool for the present. It's a blueprint for how defenses will look in the years to come. And as drone technology evolves, systems like the FK-3000 will define what it means to stay protected. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more updates on space exploration and scientific discoveries. And don't forget to leave a comment below. Also, you can visit our website, spaceinews.com. Thank you for watching, and see you next time.